center has been in existence about six years. Uh, prior to that, it was a rooftop playground that was converted into what you see today. We provide art therapy and music therapy for inpatients, and we have some outpatients that come see us as well as palliative care patients. You know, since the beginning, we've changed. We've added lots of different groups that are open to our patients. We've partnered with area arts agencies to provide additional enrichment. Expressive therapy is available to any staff or patient or family. We offer a weekly music therapy group, a weekly art therapy group. And any patient of the hospital can come and participate in those groups. We can receive referrals for any inpatient and we'll actually go to the room and work with that patient on things like anxiety reduction, pain management, processing, just getting alternate ways to talk about what's happening to them. The way that I guess I would define music therapy is it's really about the music and the therapeutic relationship. We like to integrate music with the goals that you might work on and any other type of therapy really, but the music does the work within the confines of a therapeutic relationship. So it's about the process, not necessarily a product that comes as a result of that. First it was all a little sad mm -hmm. and then it got excited. It got excited. It felt a little sad at first. Mm -hmm. Something that I particularly like to focus on is helping people to integrate what's going on in your thinking with your emotions. So, how was that angry? I mean, that felt pretty angry to me. I feel the like being angry is like fast and not slow. Because sometimes those two areas of your brain don't really tend to link up, and it all has to happen within the therapeutic relationship. Is why a therapist is it's pinnacle to music therapy. Obviously, we can all connect to music on our own time, but that the confines of that relationship and that experience is what takes it to the next level. Does that match what sadness feels like for you? Yeah. Yeah. It does. Music is one of the only activities we do in the whole world that engages the most parts of our brain. So our language area over here might get turned off when we've experienced something really bad that's in our emotions that we just can't find the words for. So music can help us express what can't be said. And then we can find the language and the words to go there when, when we have listened to or played an instrument or listened to a song and we're just able to be um, spoken to through that or process what's going on playing an instrument. I just told them to tell me what your anger sounds like on a drum and, and one of the kids laughed and he's like, well, that's what it sounds like. And, and I'm like, what did you learn differently about it? He's like, well, I guess I just don't really think. Like my brain just shuts off and that's a huge insight. What we hope is that long term they will continue to take these new thinking patterns into action moving forward. Thank you.